Okay, so can you introduce yourself? Yeah, what's up? I'm uh, Brandon Ezekiel Roberts. Most people just call me you know, B, or B squared, if you will. Okay, so what are you? Well, I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, my blood type is O negative. I'm 19. I'm a New Yorker and proud. But uh, most importantly, you know, and assuming this is what it's about, I am a, a strip of bacon. So tell me, how were you born? Well, uh... <laughs> now I'm here. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah. What was your childhood like? Um, I mean, it was, uh, it was a little difficult. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Hi, Daddy. You know, I, I had some good people in my life. You know, my parents were very supportive. Mommy. Daddy. But, um, a lot of people wanted to eat me. I don't know if you know how popular bacon is. I actually found this bacon wallpaper. Yeah, uh, that's, it's, it's, it's insane. It's kind of insane. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. And it's a little upsetting. There are people who keep me down, but as a proud bacon American, I stand against that. So I'm actually a part of an advocacy group for, you know, the rights of food, you know, I, I'm the only person in that group, but uh, we, we have rights, you know, we deserve to be treated respectfully and all the rights we don't have, we deserve because everyone deserves rights and deserves to be treated respectfully unless you're, you know, like a, like a cannibal or a Nazi because f those guys, ass <laughs> living food deserves rights. I'm, as far as I'm aware, the only living food, but I don't have the rights that you do. So this is an event coming up called Culture Shock, and I think I'm going to attend this year. You know, I really, I want to make a stand for all food people. You know, I want our voices to be heard, and uh, I want to see some of my food people come out there and, you know, really support the cause. You know, I'm the only food person, as I said, which is really unfortunate. It's actually causing me kind of an existential crisis, bro. But, like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, if there were other food people out there, they'd be pretty crash. So, like... I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I heard he got a shave. Let's do this. Food is just like you! Yo, yo, read the sign, man, read the sign. Food is just like you. Dude, watch out, watch out. Oh, 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 that, oh, does he walk and talk too? Um, yeah, um, if your grapes talk, don't eat them. Food is just like you. Hey, how about you don't tell me what to do? Oh my, oh, I'm, I'm just trying to spread awareness, man. I'm a living piece of bacon. Be careful, we're sentient. Food is just like you. I'm a living piece of bacon. Please don't eat us. It's pretty entertaining. Food is just like you. Yeah, that's actually me as a kid. My parents really, really pulled through and, and like survived with me. Annapolis Day kills my family. This is actually my friend Robert that passed away. Yeah, he got eaten. Five guys, burgers and fries, those bastards. I'm a sentient piece of bacon. I could walk and talk by a miracle of life. They, they like have feelings. I know them probably. Okay, I'll never Alpha, I got my eyes on you. You and your talking ice creams, man. Speak to your lemonade before you sip it. You're good with that rap though. I don't see it talking or anything. You're good, guys. Is your cake talking? No? Good, good. Okay, I just wanted to check because you know, some of us, we have sentience, like bananas, an apple a day, keeps the doctor away, it's kind of like, 
you know, it, it kills us. Like pork and meat and all that good stuff that you like. But like, if it talks like me, like if your bacon's talking to you, it's probably a bad look. I wouldn't like it. I'm a living piece of bacon, so I'm just talking from experience. Uh, you know, it depends on the day. Today I'm not that, not that crispy. Thank you. So how do you think Culture Shock went? I think it went pretty good, honestly. I mean, I got through to a lot of good people. There are a lot of great people walking around and listening to me. Um, they really got the, the message that me, a sentient bacon, is basically the same thing as their friend. And um, some people didn't really catch on that food is just like them, that they're like bacon and apples and grapes and f other foods and such that are actually sentient and walk around and talk. But um, yeah, we just got to roll with the punches, honestly. What do you think? Well, if you ask me, I think you succeeded. That's good to hear.